Praise the Lord, my sisters and brothers. I'm your sister in Christ, Michelle Rice. And this is the prayer connection where you make a connection with God. Yes, this is now the prayer connection where you make a connection with heaven. Now, this show is designed to build you up, to strengthen you, and to encourage you to go to another level in your prayer life. Yes. It's designed by God to catapult you and to launch you forward and to another level in your prayer life. And we know that it's all done by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ. Oh, God, we're calling on Jesus Christ. We give you glory, Jesus Christ. We worship you. We glorify you, Jesus Christ. We magnify you and praise you, Jesus Christ. We honor and adore you, O Jesus Christ, powerful Lord, King of Kings, Jesus Christ, mighty God, mighty in battle, Jesus Christ. The Lord our God reigns, Jesus Christ. The Lord that never lost a battle, Jesus Christ. The King of Kings and Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ. We worship him. We praise you. We glorify you. We magnify you. Oh, yes, God, we glorify your name, God. Give you all the praise. Give you all the glory. Hallelujah. God is good today. He's our God and our God reigns. Hallelujah. He's mighty. He's mighty in battle. So no matter what you're going through today, no matter what the trial, no matter what the tribulation, no matter what the problem, no matter what the situation or circumstance, no matter what the affliction, no matter what the adversity, no matter what the problem of the whatever you're going through today, you serve a God that is fighting for you. Jesus Christ, the mighty God. He's mighty in battle. He says, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. For that devil, that enemy that you're looking at today, you're not going to continue to see that same devil again no more because God says he's fighting for you. He says, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Hold your peace and let the Lord fight the battle. He's fighting for you. Many might be the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them out of them all. So no matter what the affliction, he promised you he's going to deliver you out of them all. No matter whether he not know how big or how small, he promised us that he would deliver us out of them all. Psalms 34, 19, many might be the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them out of them all. So if there's a health issue, that's your affliction. If a financial issue, your affliction. If it's a family-related situation, if, if that's your affliction. If it's in your marriage, if it's a problem there, if, if that's your affliction, if it's in your body, if it's in your if it's in your children, if it's in your ministry, whatever the affliction, Psalms 94 and 19 says, many might be the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them out of them all. All and all means all. <laughs> the last time I looked up the word all in the dictionary, it's, it said all means inclusive and exclusive of everything. In Jesus' name, you can rest assured. He said, in me, you might have peace. In the world, you're going to have tribulation. You're going to have problems. You're going to have situations and circumstances. It's, it's all in the world. We already know that. But he says, in me, you might have peace. In the world, tribulation. So you can be in the tribulation and still have peace. The peace that surpasses all understanding will keep your heart and mind through Jesus Christ. So you can lay your head down tonight and rest. You can rest, but there remains a rest to the people of God. You can rest in him. I come against the spirit of insomnia. I come against the spirit of fear. I come against the spirit of fretting. I come against the spirit of anxiety. And I decree and declare that tonight you will sleep good. Because that spirit of fear, anxiety, insomnia, and worry is being lifted off of you. By the anointing. Father God, right now, right now, right now, we pray to be, to be pray your word. Your word is anointed. Every word that we speak according to the scriptures is anointed right now. So God is saying you will sleep good tonight. You're not going to continue to be worrying. God says he's not giving you the spirit of fear. He's not giving you the spirit of anxiety. He's not giving you the spirit of worry. He's not giving it to you, but he's giving you a, a, a spirit of a, a, of, sound, of a sound mind. He said, I'm not like giving you the spirit of fear, but the spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. 
That's why he says it again, and I say again, be anxious for nothing, but by everything, by prayer, supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be known unto God. And the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will keep your heart and mind through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, We serve a good God. We serve a mighty God. We serve a God that never fails. We serve a God that's mighty in battle. He's omnipotent. He's omnipotent. He's omniscient. He's all powerful. He's our God. His name is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, bless his holy name. Amen and amen. Well, saints, we are in for a treat today, as always. The Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, always have a good word for us. And we begin to pray that word out. Because in our mouth is power. Death and life is in the power of the tongue. And they that love it, eat the fruit thereof. Yes, death and life is in the power of the tongue. And they that love it, eat the fruit thereof. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. It's power in your words. So shall our words be that come forth out of our mouth. It will not return unto us void, but it will accomplish what we please and prosper into the things where we send it. Your words are powerful. So when you pray, pray the word. Don't pray the problem. Pray the solution. Don't keep going to God praying the problem, the problem, the problem. Switch it. Call those things that be not as though they were. Begin to pray the solution. And the solution is found in God's holy word. The solution is his word. Whatever ails you, whatever's going on in your life, your family's life, your, your, uh, your community, your state, your, 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 your city, your, your country, your, your world, whatever you're going through, the solution is found in God's word. That's why he says study. To show yourself approved, a workman that needed not to be ashamed. Rightly, dividing the word of truth. Get that word in you. It's transforming you. Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. That you will prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So you pray the solution. Let's say, you, let's say you're going through a sickness, a disease. Let's say you're going through a, a heart issue. Let's say you're going through a mental challenge. Let's say you're going through hypertension. Let's say you're even going through cancer, arthritis, lupus, whatever the ailments, whatever the sickness and disease. Qu quit going to God with the, with the problem. Say, Lord God, help me with this sickness. Lord God, help me with this disease. Lord God, heal me, heal me. Okay, at one point you got to switch, saints. Make a detour and switch. Now, I'm not going to God on behalf of the problem. I'm going to, on the be, to God on the behalf of the solution. I began to speak back to God where he's already spoken his word. So we're going to do that right now. I'm gonna, we're going to demonstrate right now. Let's we can take the example of a heart issue. We're going to take that example. It could, be, it could mean any other kind of disease. It could be any other mental, emotional, mental physical but for instance you're going to use for, for example a heart issue don't go to god saying god help me with this heart issue help me with this heart issue jesus do something about this heart so so you no 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 you switch you say father god in the name of jesus i thank you for your word your word says that by your stripes i am healed in jesus name by his stripes you are healed in Jesus name according to your word father God Jesus said in his own word that he took all he took the he took infirmities he bore the sickness and disease and with his stripes I'm healed your word says that Jesus healed all manner of sickness and all manner of disease therefore I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord you will not die but live and declare the works of the Lord I don't care what the diagnosis is from the doctor I don't care what they said in the hospital. I don't care if they told you you have five years to live. I don't care what they said. My Bible says that he will satisfy you with long life. So you go to God and say, God, I thank you, Jesus, that you are satisfying me with long life. I will not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. You will not die but live and declare the works of the Lord because he's satisfying you with long life and life more abundantly. He is the way, the truth, and the life in the name of Jesus Christ. 
We go to God according, speaking back to him his own word. We don't go to God, keep bombarding heaven with the problem. We bombard hell and we bombard heaven with the answer, with the solution, which is God's word. In the mighty name of Jesus. This sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God. In the name of Jesus. Well, whatever that sickness is, it's not unto death, but it's for the glory of God. In the name of Jesus. Believe, do you believe this? Do you believe? According to your faith, be it done unto you. This is the Bible saying, according to your faith, be it done unto you. Your faith has made you whole. Your faith is making you whole. It's made you whole. In Jesus' mighty name. According to your faith, be it done unto you. And faith come by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. So, you, so if you want to build your faith up, so when you pray the word of God to God, in agreement with God, you got to know what the Bible says. How are you going to pray the solution? You don't even know what the Bible says about the solution. That's why I say get in your word, study to show yourself approved, work when they need if not to be ashamed, write and divide the word or two, and speak back to God what he already said. It's putting your word in the atmosphere. Father God, we put your word in the atmosphere. In the name of Jesus, for those who are going through mental challenges and going through emotional problems we decree and declare that, that oppression is far from them in the mighty name of jesus and the joy of the lord is their strength in jesus name we decree and declare that a merry heart is doing them good like a medicine like a medicine oh god in the name of you that 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 word the word of god is like a medicine and he's giving you a merry heart to do the good like a medicine take your medicine today Take your medicines and take the take a dose of the Holy Ghost today in Jesus' name. You will rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Weeping may endure for the night. But God says that joy, hallelujah. It's coming in the morning. It's coming in the morning. It's morning time, saints. It's time to live and not die. It's time to live and rejoice. It's time for it to, to live and enjoy your life in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And I'm speaking to that person that the doctors gave you a certain amount of time to live. Who are they anyway? Who, who are they? Our life and times is in God's hands. Your life and times is in God's hands. Your life is in God's hands in Jesus' name. It's up to God when you leave leave this earth realm and go into the heaven realm. It is God in the name of Jesus. They can't dictate to you how long you're going to live. Jesus says, I came to give you life, life for a month abundantly, and I will satisfy you with long life. He says, he says in his word that we have long life, and you will not die before your time. I bind the spirit of untimely death. I bind the spirit of a sudden death. I bind the spirit of untimely death. I bind the spirit of premature death. I bind death. I make death behave in the mighty name of Jesus. You're not dying. You're living. You got future. How can you die and you're getting fulfilled your purpose yet? I'm talking to somebody today. You can't live, leave this earth realm until you fulfill your purpose. You got a purpose. You got to put you on the planet for a purpose. You have destiny. You have a future. The Bible says, I know the plans I have for you, says God. Plans of good and not of evil to give you a hope and a future. He says, I know the plans. I know the plans. God says, I know the plans that I have for you. Plans of good and not of evil to give you a hope and a future. You have a hope and a future. Your future looks real bright and you look better in your future than you do right now. Hallelujah. You got a, you got future. You got a future in Jesus name. Hallelujah. You got purpose. So when you go to God, begin to pray your purpose. Ask God, why am I even here on the planet? Why did you put me here on the planet? What do you want me to do? And when God reveals to you what he have called you to do on this earth, you got to obey. People that live long lives because they obey the purpose. Why should a God let you live a long life and you, just, you won't agree with him and it fulfill your purpose? So ask God, why am I here? 
Why did you put me here on the planet? What's my purpose? And when he reveals your purpose, begin to walk in. He will enable you to walk in your purpose. People that walk in purpose live long life because they're doing the will of the Lord. He said, I'm set before you this day, life and death. Blessings and cursings, choose life, choose blessings in Jesus' name. He has a purpose for you. You're called man of God. You're called woman of God. You are called and according to his purpose. That's why he's keeping you alive. He ain't keeping you alive to sit on the couch to eat potato chips. He's not keeping you alive to just run to, run to, run to work and run back home and watch TV. You're here for purpose. He left you here for purpose. Thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people died in this pandemic. But if you're still here, he has purpose for you. Not just to get up and go to work, get up and go to work, come on. Get up and go to work, come on. Get up and go to work, go to church and come on. It's more to life than get up, go to work and come home. You got purpose. Pray and ask God to reveal to you the purpose. He says, I know the plans I have for you. Plans of good and not even to give a hope in the future. You got purpose on your life. In Jesus' name. He got a good plan for you. Many are the plans of a righteous man, but it's the plans of the Lord that will stand. It's not your plan. God got a better plan than you got a plan for yourself. I know you've been thinking what, what I want to do here, what I want to do next five years, what I want to do for me. You know, I know that's all good. But many are the plans of a righteous man, but the plans of the Lord that will stand. His plans is better than your plans. I don't, in your wildest dreams, what you think you want to do with your life, God's plan is better. It's more, it's more exuberant. It's more enthusiastic. It's more glorious. It's more successful. He got, he got big plans, bigger than you have for yourself. So, Father God, I pray right now for all those that are listening, that as they spend time with you, they got to spend time with you, God. They got to pray and talk to you, God. Talk to you in the morning. Talk to you in the noonday. Talk to you when the sun goes down. On. They got to talk to you, Lord God. Many, they got to talk to you, God. The effects of fervent prayer of a righteous man avail as much. The effects of fervent prayer of a righteous woman avail as much. They need to talk to you in the night seasons. They need to talk to you in the mornings. Find out your purpose. And when they find out the purpose, let them say, yes, Lord, to your will. Yes, Lord, to your way. God's looking for a yes to come out of your spirit. He want to hear you say yes. And people think if you say yes to God, God going to send you to Africa to be a, uh, to be a, mess, uh, uh, a missionary. That's not true. God's will is better than your own will for your life. Just tap into his will. We're tapping into God's will today. It's the best life. I heard people say, girl, live your best life. Your best, you can't, you can't live your best life outside of Christ. His life is more exciting, more exuberant, more successful. Wealth is in your feet. All these things is included in the will of God for you. That's why we got to seek God. Seek him while he may be found. In Jesus' name. He said, my people who are called by my name, humble themselves, pray, turn from their wicked ways. Seek my face. I will hear from heaven and I will hear from heaven. I forgive their sin and I will heal the land. Then he said, my eyes will be open and my ears attend to the prayer that's made into this place. In Jesus name, he got a good, he got a plan for you. He got big plans for you. This is the second half of your life. I'm talking to the 15 year over, over right now. Those is around 50 years old. This is your this is your middle middle mark. You got 50 plus years to go to live in Christ because you're not going to die. I know the devil told you, but it's not true. You should know the truth and the truth will make you free. You're going to live. You hear me? God's word says so. How do you know it's true? Because God's word is true. And God says, I'm not a man that I should lie. Neither the son of man that I should repent. Have I not said it? Will I not do it? Will I not, have I not spoken it? Will I not make it good? In Jesus' name, he's leaving you on the earth realm. It's okay. So you just tell the devil when he starts speaking into your ear, say, shut up, devil. I'm living and not dying and declare the works of the Lord. God is healing my body. By his stripes, I am healed. He's taking my infirmity. He's bearing my sickness and disease. And with his stripes, I'm already healed. He's, he's, he, he's healing me from all manner, all kinds of sicknesses and all kinds of diseases. I'm here to live. Yes, in Jesus' name. God, we praise you. God, we glorify your name. 
Oh God, hallelujah. Praise your name, Jesus. We glorify your name, Lord God. Hallelujah. Oh, bless your name. Bless God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Rasha Nanana Kande. Yes, in you, you look way better. In your future is prosperity, not lack, not famine. In your future is wealth. He said, I'll open the windows of heaven, pour you out a blessing. You have not room enough to receive. And he will rebuke the devourer for your sake. God did not plan for you to be poor. Poverty is not your, it's not your future. Poverty, poverty is not in the, it's not, it's not in the book that's written of you. We all got, God got a book with your name on it. And in that book, poverty is not in it. Early death is not in it. Sudden death is not in it. Untimely death is not in it. Premature death is not in it. Sickness is not in it. Disease is not in it. You have a book, there's books. Not, I'm not talking about the Lamb's Book of Life. The Bible talks about the volume of the book that's written of you. There's a book written in heaven with your life in it. And in that book, like I said, in it is not untimely death, premature death, or sudden death. It's long life is written in that book with your name on it. And in that in, in that book, joy is in that book. The joy of the Lord is your strength is written in that book about you. Wealth is written about you. He withhold no good thing to those who walk uprightly. He will, he, will, he will bless you exceedingly abundantly above all that you could ask or think according to the power that's working in you, you and your family. As for you and your house, you're going to serve the Lord. As for you and your house, you dwell in the secret place of the Most High. You are kept from the pandemic. You're kept from the plague. You're kept from coronavirus because you are in the secret place. You and your household. Everybody going to live. I decree it and declare it to be so. God is good to us. So this whole broadcast is encouraging us to pray the solution, which is his word, and not the problem. And only way you're going to be able to do that effectively is get in the Bible and read what the Bible says. How can you pray the word of God if you don't know what the word of God says? Get a good translation that you can understand. And read that word, study it, and speak it out your mouth. Because death and life is in the power of the tongue. So shall your word be the comfort out of your mouth. It's not going to return it to you void. But it's going to come to where he pleases and prosper to the thing to where it's been sent. The angels hearken to the voice of the word of the Lord. We give God's word voice. We, when we, we, we are just like God. We're his sons. We're sons and daughters of God. We're made in his image and after his likeness. God is a speaking spirit. God don't just think things in his mind and it's done. No, he speaks them into existence. Let there be light and there was light. He spoke this, the worlds into existence. He created the worlds by his spoken word. And if you made his image as his likeness, then you have a creative ability too. You have creative ability. Because you made his image and his likeness if you're a child of God. You have creative ability in you to speak and to create with your mouth. Quit speaking negativity. Quit speaking what the doctor said. Quit speaking what the news is saying. Quit, quit, quit speaking what the, what the doubters, the unbelievers are saying. And start speaking God's word and create something. Create your life. Create your life. Create your life. Create it. This, this God. If let God let you live this long, now it's time to switch. Quit just going through the humdrum of life and be blown downstream. Start summing upstream and start speaking your life into existence. Get in that Bible. Find out what the Bible says about you and speak your world into existence. Call those things that be not as though they were. Speak your speak speak your world into existence. In your world, God says. He has abundance for you. In your world, God says, he got grace and peace for you. Joy, long life, healing, deliverance, peace and comfort, strength and power and the anointing. Success, that's what is written in the book with your name on it. You have to agree with God. How can two walk unless they're two, they both agree? God believes it about you. 
You got to believe it about yourself and agree with God and speak his word and quit running to God with the problem. Come to him with the solution, which is his word. That's God's language. God's ears perk up when you start speaking his word. He go, wait a minute, wait a minute. I hear myself talking. I hear a recording of me. That's, that's, that's my son talking. That's my daughter talking. They in agreement with me. We're going to get this done. But two, you, you agree with God. How can two walk unless they agree? Agree with God in prayer. Quit praying the problem. That, that's, that's, that's so old. That, that's last season. We prayed the problem long enough and you didn't get no results. <laughs> so now we're going to switch. We're going to switch as we are in the month, the kind of in the middle of the year. We're going to switch to speaking the solution, and the solution is always found in God's word. We give him praise for that and give him glory. Now, for those of you that don't know Jesus Christ as their personal Savior, I'm here to say today, it's up, you, you got power in your mouth too, because you can, you can, you can receive Jesus Christ as your personal Savior with your own mouth. He says, confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. With your mouth, you can make confession to salvation. You will change the trajectory of your life. Right now, if you don't have Jesus, you're on your way to hell. But you can change. You can make a detour. You can make a detour around hell. Make that detour and, and go on to heaven by the words of your mouth. Death and life is in the power of your tongue. Use your mouth, use your voice to change your life. Use your voice to receive Jesus as your personal Savior. So pray this prayer with me if you want to receive Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. In Jesus' mighty name. Say, Father, you come on, we're going to pray. Come on. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm a sinner in need of a Savior. I come to you. You said, if I confess with my mouth, that Jesus is Lord and believe in my heart that God raised him from the dead, I will be saved. With my mouth, I confessed it. And with my heart, I believed it according to your word. You said in your word that whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. In Jesus' name. But if you pray that simple prayer, you are saved, you are saved, you are saved. And like I said earlier, for new, new Christians and old Christians, things you got to do. One, have a prayer life. Talk to God. Talk to the Lord. He's your best friend. He loves you. He loves to hear your voice. Talk with him in the morning. Chit chat with him. Pray to him. Make petitions. Make supplications. Just talk, talk, talk. Like you talk to your best friend. Talk to him about everything. He's your best friend. So that's prayer. Talking to God. Then, Read the Bible, remember, so you can start praying the praying so life into your situation, life into your family, life. You need to speak life, and you will never be able to speak a life if you don't know what the word of God says, because the word of God is the only place there is life. So you praying, you reading that Bible, and you speaking it, you 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 speak it out loud. But you reading that Bible, then you obey God and do what the Bible says do. Be a doer of the word and not a hearer only. And then after all that said and done, another prayer you need to pray. Ask God to lead you to a good church. Lead you to a good church that they are preaching and teaching the unadulterated word of God. Yes, do it. Pray. Talk to God. Yeah. Read that Bible and, 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 and congregate with other people that's like you. Believing like you. Talking like you. All those Jesus people, connect with them. That's the best connection. And speaking of connections, I'll see you next time on the Prayer Connection, where we make a connection with God. I'll see you next time on the Prayer Connection, where we make a connection with heaven. Yes, indeed. I love you so much. And most of all, our God and our Christ loves you. See you next time. Love you. Bye-bye.